Well, everybody, I just got the call today from Dave down at Blue Ribbon Accessories, and we're going down to check out the pallet that just came on off of the truck, and it should have all the trailer parts. So that's where we're headed right now. Here we go, Blue Ribbon. All right. Uh huh. Dude, look at all the cool stuff. All right, now I'll have to get on over here and find a place to park. Look at these monster machines. That guy's truck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. That's it right there. All comes in that box on the pallet. Now this other stuff isn't part of it, but just this right here. And then we'll get this thing home and we'll take the box apart and see all the goodies inside. But we're gonna be hauling it in our Cherokee. Great. Well, okay, we got the axle right there. We got the pallet on top and we've got the box inside. Yeah. Hi, Mom. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can actually see through there, but yeah, it's in there. So that's pretty cool. All right. Now let's go home and open up the box. One of the many reasons why driving a semi can be a pain in the butt. I feel sorry for these guys when this kind of stuff happens. See the trailer, this guy's trying to make this corner here into Blue Ribbon, but this truck out at the street, not this car, but this truck through the fence is too close to the intersection. And this guy keeps trying to make it without his trailer hitting that truck. Times like that, times like this when the uh, being a driver takes a, it's a pain in the ass. <laughs> Poor guy. All right, well, we got it all unloaded out of the truck. And let's see. Dang, tell you what, bad season for bees. All right. Dun, dun, dun. Gotta make the drama. Gotta raise up the audience retention rate on this video. Dun 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 on like uh this will be the this is the back of the trailer got a clear window there for the license plate if you hang your license plate down here the other one doesn't this will be the other side okay. yeah. 
these are the yellow assortment. This is the yellow light kit. Oh, luckily I didn't need to lose those. That's pretty cool. Wiring harness, the plug, Ooh, got the safety chains. A little spring clip here, to stay on. Jack! Ugh. That's cool. Weld on. Pivots. Locks down. Cool. That's nice. Ram. Strong and reliable. 3,000 pound support capacity, 2,000 pound lift capacity. Nice. We got the fender. This is sides rounded more than this side, so I would assume that these fender guards here get tacked on the more flat side. Look at that. Tick, 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 tick. It's a giant guillotine. Yeah. Oh. And you guys could see the leaf springs. box here. Whoa, it's a little heavy. Oh. I see what that those are. See? Yeah. Another little box right here. Oh. Oh yeah. Look at that. Brand spanking new. Sweet. Well, we got all this stuff. Now I'll be able to start factoring in the frame and everything. So if you guys want to pause the video right now, that's everything that came in the kit. Look closely. Now this kit is closest to kit number 1112 on his website. So if you go to his website and you check out 11, uh, the, the kit number 1112, that's what this kit is. Yeah, the kids are gonna have fun with this box. <laughs> and again, the website is trailerplans.com and he's looking for more business guys, so I would recommend it definitely. So now I'm gonna get start working on this, start figuring out my plans and then try to get some steel ordered. Yeah, pretty excited about this. See you guys later. I'd like to welcome all my new subscribers and all my new viewers, and we'll get started on this as soon as I possibly can. See you guys later.
Hello. Oh, not much. I'm sitting inside of a box right now uh, talking to my camera.